टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन वन साइबर सिक्योरिटी टॉपिक ऑन इथिकल हैकिंग विद पाइथन एज अ कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियर हु इनक्रिप्ट द वर्ल्ड वन शुड नो हाउ हैकिंग एक्टिविटीज आर डन एंड वी मस्ट स्टैंड प्रॉन्ट in protecting our world from cyber criminals being able to gain access to a system that you are not supposed to have access to is known as hacking for example logging into an email account without authorization is considered hacking that account gaining access to a remote computer without authorization is hacking that computer so you can see that there are a large number of ways to hack into a system and the world hacking can refer to a number of things but the main concept is the same gaining access or being able to do things that you are not supposed to be able to do is considered hacking so what is ethical hacking to crack passwords or to steal data no it is much more than that ethical hacking is to scan vulnerabilities and to find potential threats on a computer or network an ethical hacker finds the weak points or loopholes in a computer web applications or network and reports them to the organization so let's explore more about ethical hacking step by step black hat hackers here the organization does not allow the user to test it they unethically enter inside the website and steal data from the admin panel or manipulate the data they only focus on themselves and the advantages they will get from the personal data for personal financial gain they can cause major damage to the company by altering the functions which lead to the loss of the company at a much higher extent this can even lead you to extreme consequences next is white hat hacker here we look for bugs and ethically report it to the organization we are authorized as a user to test for bugs in a website or network and report it to them white hat hackers generally get all the needed information about the application or network to test for from the organization itself they use their skills to test it before the website goes live or attacked by malicious hackers third one is gray hat hackers they sometimes access to the data and violates the law but they never have the same intention as black hat hackers they often operate for the common good the main difference is that they exploit vulnerability publicly whereas white hat hackers do it privately for the company why python programming for hacking python is widely used general purpose high level programming language python is a very simple language yet powerful scripting language it's open source and object oriented and it has great libraries that can be used for both for hacking and for writing very useful normal programs other than hacking programs in the future and present era python is very popular and it's easy to learn learning to hack with python will be fun and you will learn python programming in the best way there is a great demand for python developers in the market now question is how password are hacked everyone knows that 
passwords are not stored a plain text in the website's database now we are going to see how to hack a plain text password when you find a password that is in hashed format so we take the input has hashed password in the database try to compare it with md5 hash of every plain text password which is in a password file pass dog and when the hashes are matched we simply display the plain text password which is in the password file if the password is not present in the input password file it will say password is not found this happens only if buffer overflow does not occur this type of attack can be considered as a dictionary attack